Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to do some side questing over at the Three Sisters. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen, and I did absolutely nothing. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to come over here to this door, or this archway. And before we go through it, we're going to open up our map, and we're going to put down a few markers. Our first marker is going to be about right here. And then a little further down, we're going to have a grace. We're not going to mark that because we're going to run straight into it. Our second marker is going to be about right here. Our third one's going to be about right here. Fourth one right over here. And then lastly, our fifth one's going to be right here. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. And then we're going to start making our way towards all these markers. We have a few enemies. I wouldn't worry about them. As long as you're not stopping, they're not going to hit you. If you stop, they're probably going to hit you. Right there, we're going to get the frozen armament spell pretty cool you can put frost on your weapon hop back on torrent after lighting that grace we're gonna veer off to the right grab up some grave glove wart and then instead of following the road, we're just going to veer off just over here so we can get behind the gravestones here and take out these Albanorics. Cool, we got the dirty chainmail from them. Pick up the Albanoric ashes. Some Albanoric blood clot. And then right here, we're going to get the Juvenile juvenile Scholar set. We're also going to get a Larval Tier. We can hop back on Torrent here. We don't have to worry about that Albanoric there. Or maybe we do. Come over to this rock that's jetting out here. We're going to get ourselves an item. You shouldn't take any fall damage coming down here, but if you don't feel safe, just turn around and go down where it's safe, or at least you feel like it's safe. Be careful for the Radagon Wolf. We're going to head straight towards the fifth marker. Don't stop. Go straight into the Everjail. Now this Everjail is really easy. I never struggle with this guy. We're just gonna buff up. It's funny, I'm like, I never struggle with this guy. And then he immediately just smacks me in the face. We get the meteorite spell for killing him. The meteorite spell to me is not that good. It's anytime I use it, it never really hits enemies. So I don't know. I don't find it as good as what it should be. We're going to come up here. We're going to put a marker right here. This is Ronnie's rise. 
And then we're going to come over here and just about right here, we're going to put a marker. And then right at the edge here, we're going to put a third marker. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. Go ahead and turn our lantern on. We're going to veer off to the left. Ooh, got lucky, dear. Let's go ahead and drink a flask. Summon an Oleg. And then we're going to buff our weapon in just a moment. We're getting ready to fight that dragon that we seen in the last episode. It's not hard. We don't even have to fully kill it. We just have to get its health down just enough and it will fly away and disappear. Oh, it's going to do a flying attack. That was close. There we go. And it's gone. Pretty easy fight. We're going to actually see that dragon again later on into the game. Let's go ahead and go up to the first marker. We're just going to run straight through here. Go ahead and light this grace. And then we're going to go up this elevator. Once we get to the top, we're going to send this elevator right back down. And the reason why is because we're going to have to fast travel to the round table hold and then back here to Ronnie's rise. We'll be doing that a lot in this episode is fast traveling back and forth. Oh, again, we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of ink in thee an invitation. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death and used it to forge the godslaying black knives through fearsome rite. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed. But all the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say now. Be gone. Let's go ahead and fast travel back, or well, not back, but to the round table hold. Let's talk to Rajier. Let him know what Ronnie said. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? I see. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark, too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, 
then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Now let's go back to Ronnie's Rise. We'll take the elevator up. This time we don't have to send it back down. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst rend me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service. And good hunting to thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior. By the name of Blythe, I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah! And there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. So you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies. For the misleading words of warning, I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let's go talk to Blythe now. Ah. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you've forgotten, glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, 
Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Selavis is such a dickhead. I cannot stand him. Let's go back to the top. We're going to talk to Ronnie. She's going to fall asleep. And then her quest is done for a while. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Now let's go ahead and head down the elevator. We're going to go to the second and third marker we made earlier. Be careful of the wolves. They're not that dangerous, but you know, they're wolves. Let's take this guy out really fast so he's not a nuisance. And then right here we can kind of see the silhouette of an illusory wall. And we have found Selavis's doll den, I guess. I don't know. He's a real weirdo. If we come right here, we can roll into the wall. And we can find a doll of Selen. Which will come in handy much later into the game. For now, we just wanted to find this so that we can get some dialogue from Celibus. Let's go to the third marker, just over here. It's not far from the marker we just came from. Right here is a really good Ash of War. This is Chilling Mist. It will put frost on your weapon along with throw out an actual mist of cold so it'll be good for a frostbite buildup. For now what we want to do is we want to hit R3, zoom out, and we want to come over to the Soifra River Bank. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're just going to ride straight east. We're going to have a few enemies to kill. And we want to kill them. That way when we're talking to Blythe, we're not having people trying to hit us in the back or shoot us in the back with arrows and all that nonsense. Hop back on Torrent. And then just ride along the cliff. And you should find Blythe fairly easily. 
Ah. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celevis. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? We're going to go back over to Ronnie's Rise. And we're going to actually put a marker down first. That way we know where Celevis is. We're going to exit out the archway here. Hop on Torrent. And then we're going to follow the path down until we get to the fork in the road. And then we'll veer off to the right. So here's the fork. Head to the path to the right. And then we're going to talk to Celevis. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? We're going to accept the task. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I've no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the Academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. We're going to climb this ladder. We have a couple of items to get up here. Get ourselves a memory stone. And then at the base here, before we go through the doorway, if we run and jump, be careful not to jump straight off, we can get the black wolf mask. Let's go ahead and go to the round table hold. I'll see everybody there. We're going to talk to Gideon. We're not going to give the potion to Nefeli Lu. We're going to give it to Gideon. Well, I see you found another great rune. Wonderful. 
You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The Two Fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished, and we must answer the call of grace. So we're going to show Gideon Celebus's potion. Is that potion what I think it is? Bloody Celebus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Oh. Would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Celadis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Now we're going to go over to Limgrave. We're going to go over to the Waypoint Ruins Cellar. Let's go ahead and talk to Selen. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Well, well. Salavus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations. And in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too would Rani's destiny. Your appetite for learning is impressive. You make me proud to have grown little legs so readily. You must have a fabulous teacher. Now we can head back over to Ronnie's Rise. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're going to go talk to Celevis. Tell him that we gave Nefeli Lu the potion, even though that we didn't. Remember, just keep following the path down, and then we're going to veer off to the right. So you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. He's got quite a few cool spells. I actually really like the Carrion Phalanx. So if you want to get any of these spells, scoop them up now or later, whenever you have enough runes, that is. Let's talk to him about Nefeli and about his chambers that we found. So, 
You had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your oafishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own, hmm? Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. So he's going to allow us to choose two different puppets. You can only choose one out of the two. The first one, the Finger Maiden Theralina puppet. She's going to heal you while in battle. And then the Jar Right puppet is going to throw jars at your enemies and cause different status effects. Both of them are very squishy and I don't ever use them. I've never found them to be good. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the Finger Maiden puppet. It doesn't matter which one you guys choose, just whichever one you're feeling. Okay, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the round table hold and then we're going to end the video. I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty everyone, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.